What's up fellow collectors? The Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. Remember to join the coalition. Join the Collectors Coalition Facebook group. We're about to be the 2,000 members, so help us get up to 2,000 members. But anyway, I'm out here on the hunt today, about to go get some food to fuel the hunt. Not sure what I'm really looking for. You know, Marvel Legends, of course, Deadpool Wave, and the Lizard Wave, but really just anything. I also want some mystery minis. I think the new Han Solo mystery minis are out. Um, also, I just got so much footage like backed up that I haven't uploaded yet. So I have like videos upon videos of like stuff that I haven't even like put on YouTube yet. Especially like a bunch of stuff of me finding like a lot of the Han Solo toys early. So you can um, stay tuned for those videos coming soon. But right now I'm going to show you a little clip of the first time when I first found the Deadpool wave at a local Walgreens. So check this out and then I'm going to check in with y'all once I get to my destination. Comic Coalition here for another quick video for you guys today. <clears throat> it's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm at a Walgreens. Not a single person in sight. Not even a person. <clears throat> Not even a person to check me out. But as you can see, they're stocked up on Commander Cody's and young Anakin Skywalker. Like, I waited for months and months for this damn clone Commander Cody, and now he is everywhere. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Oh, are you serious? All y'all have is Domino. Please don't tell me all y'all have is Domino. Oh, man. They literally must have had the new wave, of the Deadpool wave here, which I can't find anywhere. I know, like, y'all boys, like the Renegades, y'all boys out there in Cali, y'all finding these things months ago. First time me seeing these in person, and they only got Domino. Man. You know, I'm not trying to be negative, but my night is obviously ruined. I come across a Deadpool wave, and I come across Domino. Not a big fan of Domino. Not worried about building a Sasquatch build a figure or anything. So I really just want the Deadpool's cable deathlock. You know, I don't, I'm not a completionist when it comes to Marvel Legends. Okay, so now we're at a little place called Sly's, what's this called, Sly's Burgers and Fries? And they're known for like sliders and stuff. I haven't eaten here before. And mini hot dogs. And mini hot dogs, downtown Savannah, Georgia. Just like a little, Place. It's really nice looking down here though. Look at the stuff paintings they have on the wall. So what all type of sliders did you get? That's a hot dog with an egg on it. This is a um, a tiger. Mm -hmm. What is it? The mustard tiger. Mustard tiger. Dijon mustard. And I got a basic mini yeah, burger. This is the bullet <laughs> club, and this is a mushroom one. I'll touch it on mushrooms. And I got pulled pork ranch fries, and I got bacon and fried egg on my fries. So we're done eating. One of the employees at my local Hot Topic just hit me up on Instagram and let me know that they just got in the Funko Nickelodeon Mystery Minis. Now, if you know me, my 90s baby, 90s Nickelodeon stuff comes before anything when it comes to collecting, before Marvel Legends, before Black Series, before SH Figure Arts, before this, that, and the third. 90s Nickelodeon stuff comes first. So I was about to go grab me a Marvel Legends. You know, because all the waves are out there. I was about to go hunt down maybe a Gwenpool 
our death lock or something but i got this hot cash the 90s nickelodeon mystery minis are in so i have no choice but to rush over to hot topic and grab as many as i can probably probably i don't know i got a good bit of hot cash probably grab about mm -hmm. Probably about ninety dollar, ninety dollars worth of those. I'm not sure how much they, you know, they cost a piece. Probably like eight or fifty because we're, because we're at a damn hot topic. And my girlfriend's worried about the video. She almost crashed right into this jeep in front of us. How do you, do you like crashing cars on filming videos? But yeah, we're about to go do that. I'm gonna unbox some of them for you, show you what I got, all that good stuff. Who knows what else we might encounter along the way but that's the number one priority for the day as of right now <sighs> okay so the mystery minis are about to get one free so i'm about to get a whole case of the nickelodeon mystery minis i'm gonna get a few Han Solo mystery minis i need to a pops i'm gonna get up pick up all right so i'm back from hot topic and if you take a look in this bag <clears throat> it is packed full of mystery minis that's right. I'm back and I'm going to be better than ever. But anyway, <laughs> I grabbed nine Nickelodeon Mystery Minis, basically the entire case. Um, someone had already picked up, I think, maybe two, but I picked up everything they had left of those and I picked up six Han Solo Mystery Minis and I picked up a couple things from my girlfriend and a couple pops. But that's neither here nor there. What we're focused on right now is this. See that? Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's cool. It's cool. And of course, you know me, I like to get the I like to get the boxes. You know, I like the I you know, I display things in these boxes. I keep these boxes for things. And man, it's just mystery after mystery after mystery after mystery after mystery. After mystery, oh, will it stand? Will it stand? I'm playing Django with mystery minis right now. Oh, come on. Can I put one more on there, guys? Oh! All right, so now I'm back at the house from Hot Topic. As you can see, I got basically a whole case of Nickelodeon mystery minis. I got nine of them to be exact, I believe. 12 come in the case someone had already bought three before I could get there But I did get nine of the Nickelodeon Hot Topic Mist The Nickelodeon Hot Topic Mystery Minis and I got six of the Han Solo movie mystery minis now You're gonna have to stay tuned because coming in the next couple of days I have a video up of me unboxing all of the Han Solo mystery minis. Sorry for the interruption But basically yeah got nine Nickelodeon mystery minis here Six Han Solo Mystery Minis. If you stay tuned, I'll have a video of me unboxing the, the Han Solo Mystery Minis coming up within the next day or so. But in this video, I'm going to unbox all nine of these Nickelodeon Mystery Minis and see what I got. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and crack one open and get these things out of the way. And <clears throat> those are some Han Solo Mystery Minis that happen to be in the box. So here's a here's all the you know people you can get. Of course, we want the Hot Topic exclusives, the Crumb, the Gerald, the Reptar. But I'm gonna be happy with anybody I get, just because you know I'm a massive '90s Nickelodeon fan. Now I can't tell you Wild Thornberries don't care too much about you know Cat Dog. I'm not you know the biggest fan, but they're still '90s Nickelodeon, so I don't mind having them in the collection. Oh, and here we have Dag, or is that Norbit? Do you know? Nope. Pretty sure it's Dag. I want to say it's Dag, but then I also want to say it's Norbit. Hmm. Definitely Norbit, or Norbert. However you would want to call it, because Dag's the little one. 
But yeah. Definitely did a great job on this guy right here. Some of the mystery minis that have been coming out lately, I haven't been happy with like the designs of them. <clears throat> Such as like the Stranger Things mystery minis. But I'm definitely happy with how that looks. Definitely. Angry Beaver is definitely one of my favorite 90s Nickelodeon shows. I mean, it was, it came around, you know, later on. Of course, like after the shows like Doug and stuff like that. But it's definitely one of my favorite shows. Definitely my favorite newer 90s Nickelodeon show for sure. That and Rocket Power. I like Cat Dog. You like Cat Dog? Not too big of a Cat Dog fan. Just never have been too much into Cat Dog. So let's see who we got here. Ooh. Ooh. Hot Topic exclusive Gerald. Hey. Now, He's so cute. everybody loves Hey Arnold. If you don't like Hey Arnold, then I don't know like what's wrong with you. Hey Arnold, I feel like one of those shows as a kid that you need as a kid. It taught you morals. It taught you values. It taught you how to live a kid life somewhat. Like, if there's any 90s Nickelodeon show that I felt like taught me lessons when I watched it, it was Hey Arnold. But the lessons were wrapped up in very entertaining and crazy, wacky adventures. With a lot of wacky characters. And just a school full of like cool, like, you know, different characters and kids. And Gerald was, of course, one of my favorite ones. I like how they did, I like how they did Gerald here. Yeah, me too. They did a good job His on this guy. His eyes are big. So there goes one of the Hot Topic exclusives already out of the way. Um, taking a look right here. This would have to be the number one Hot Topic exclusive I would want. Because they have this guy, they have Crumb, and they have Reptar. But I just feel like, what is Hey Arnold without Gerald? So, man, you can give him a better look at Gerald right there. Let's go ahead and get the classic off of this next one. So go ahead in the comments below right now, let me know if you had to choose between Angry Beavers or Hey Arnold, which show did you like the most as a kid? If you're a 90s baby. If you're not a 90s baby, then I don't know why you're even watching this video. I still got love for the 80s babies too though, because y'all was watching 90s cartoons. So if you're born after that, then yeah. The channel's not for you. And here goes Dag. There we go. I'm glad I got him. So now we got Dag and Norbert. Brothers. Yes. Beaver brothers. Are they like different a different type of beaver? Like or I don't know, because of course he looks more like a beaver than this guy. He's got like Super Saiyan 3 haircut going on here. Yeah. All right, so time to unbox a few more of these guys. So one thing I for, I didn't realize until like I took a second to look at the back of the boxes is that the Angry Beavers are both one of 72. So that means they're pretty hard to get. Basically the hardest, the hardest thing you can get basically, it looks like to me. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I am. So you correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Alright. I'm hoping it's gonna be Chucky. Oh, uh, um, yay. Stimpy, look at his butt. <laughs> they made sure to put the butt cheeks on him. Man, y'all, Funko, whoever designed this, if you're watching this video, I know I follow, follow a lot of you guys on Instagram and stuff. And some of y'all guys are subscribed to me, but whoever designed these, y'all the guys did a fucking wonderful job. It's definitely a show I remember from my childhood. Definitely wasn't for kids. I don't see how some of those things slipped by the sensors, but they did. And it kind of shaped us 90s babies into the people we are today. For best or for worst. <clears throat> okay. 
I don't know now. This one feels kind of heavy. We want Chucky. I feel like it's cat dog. Cat dog. Yay. It's cat dog. Ooh. I don't even like cat dog like that, but that's interesting right there now. Look at that. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I like it better than the pop. Me too. Yeah, they not going to have to park on this one. Now, keep in mind that these are the Hot Topic exclusives. So, I believe there's exclusives for... I'm not sure. I, believe, I know there's GameStop. I'm not sure where else. Was this supposed to be Toys R Us exclusives? And Toys R Us is going out of business? Because if that's the case, then... Gonna be a sad, sad day in my 90s toy collection. Alright. Oh, is it Reptar? Nope. It's Chucky oh, Finster. Even better. I love Chucky. Chucky had swag before we knew what swag was. As a baby, I mean, come on, man. That's one fresh little baby. I think he was always, like, as a kid, I mean, Tommy was my favorite rug rat just because, you know, he was a leader and he was brave and all that. But once I grew up, I definitely, definitely, um, like Chucky, Chucky more. What do you say? Who's your favorite rug rat? I like Chucky. All right, so I'm going to take a second to admire these right quick and then I'm going to open the rest. All right, so finally, it's time to unbox the last three. Now, I know for you guys, this is just happening back to back to back. But for me, I spread the unboxing of these Mr. Minis throughout the day. Just so I have something to do every couple of hours. So, as you can see, what we have so far. Now... I'm hoping to get at least one more of the Hot Topic exclusives. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We want Reptar. Yes, and we want Chrome. And we have Tommy. What? Gotta have a Tommy to go along with your Chucky Finster. Oh, they did a dope job on him. I like the lump on top of his head, his hair. He's got a screwdriver in his hand. Tommy always has a screwdriver. Yes, that's exactly where he should go, right next to Chucky. The details on him are dope, man. I'm telling you, they knocked it out of the park with this line here. I'm going to have to buy a whole another case from probably um, Think Geek or GameStop. And you got Ren. You gotta have Ren to go along with your Stimpy. So there you have it, folks. We have Ren here. And here goes the last box, guys. The last box. I have no idea what could be in here, but... I literally have everything on the back of this box, but hey Arnold, um, what's the girl from Wild Thornberries? I want to say her name's Liza? Liza Thornberry something? Yeah, I think so. The girl from Wild Thornberries and the Hot Top Exclusive Prime and Hot Top Exclusive Reptar. I don't know. You've been lucky so far with no doubles. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any doubles, but I don't think I'm going to get the Hot Topic exclusive. I'm going to be honest, I just don't feel it. I don't feel it. It's going to be Hey Arnold or the Wild Thornberry stuff. And it is Arnold. Yes. So, 
So we've got to put Hey Arnold right here next to his best friend Gerald. And we could do a quick sweep of all the ones we got. Now don't forget in the comments below let me know your favorite 90's Nickelodeon TV show. So I guess that's going to bring an end to this video for you, you know, today. Alright, so that brings an end to this video for you guys today. I had a very good day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way to helping my channel grow. If you absolutely hated it, give it a thumbs down and tell me off in the comments below. But be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to join the Collectors Coalition on Facebook. And be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at FunkyPop underscore 912. You have a good day, YouTube.